Schools and communities across the world were starting to shut down as a result of COVID as early as January. Kids are always our number one focus. That's always been the guiding force for any decisions that we make. Parents didn't know what to say. They didn't know what they wanted. Um, and then they asked for everything and then some asked for anything. For me, learning through a, like a screen wasn't something that I wanted to do. We just started to really talk about the potential of what this could end up looking like and, and really committed early on that we were not going to have this just be a snow day or a series of snow weeks. I believe what students are missing when they are in the virtual space is that is they're missing the routine and the structure of being in a learning environment, but they're also missing those opportunities to uh, socialize with their peers um, and learn and continue to learn how to socialize. When we uh, got the news from the governor that we were going to be closing schools in the middle of March, uh, Thursday we were face to face with students. We took Friday and uh, had kept the students home. We brought the staff in and began preparing for what we were going to do. They were making action plans as to how we were going to, you know, uh, execute instruction um, because we were committed to having instruction. What was unique about our district is for one, we opened, we stayed in school the entire time in person, which really helped, not only did it help our parents, but it definitely helped our kids. We were able to offer some of our um, structures that we already had in place. We were able to show them how we could make online learning work. And I think some of our like attendance, the way we collected attendance, and again, meeting those needs, thinking outside the box, I think some of those ideas came from us and, and presented themselves well at the traditional high school. The pandemic is not a good thing, but there are so many good things that came out of it. And I think education is going to change. This is, this is the new wave of the future. You know, how can we meet the needs of our kids, use the technology, and expand? The encouragement of the teachers and your parents to do good makes you get through it. They tried a lot to get us to communicate and participate more. So they changed a lot of activities for us to participate more together. This year we had to do a couple of different things in order to accommodate the um, boys and girls coming into the school and the safety of everyone at the school, not only the boys and girls, but the staff members as well. We were concerned about our own safety. So we have staff members out front handing out masks to any boys and girls that might come to school without masks. Most of them come with masks. They're really resilient. They kind of adjusted pretty well to wearing masks to school, even, you know, the little five-year-olds coming to school. Um, there's hand sanitizers throughout the building. We had touch point cleaners coming. Um, the custodians are continually visible throughout the building. If you, and I'm sure as you talk to other people, you will hear a high level of commitment from our staff toward their kids. And, and they will call them their kids because they are. They care deeply about uh, taking care of the students that walk through the doors of our schools. And so for all of us, none of us wanted to lose uh, any time with them whether it was instructional time or even support time. We as a school district, we provide for all of that. We provide food, we provide resources, uh, community connections to community resources. We do all of that so that kids can fully invest in academics.